would like to demonstrate that diffusion occurs through this selectively permeable membrane. Now, we are going to take, what we will need, you will need a large beaker that is half filled with water. You would also need some cold water to mix and make a starch solution. You could use ordinary corn flour, maizena, and take about a teaspoon of it into a cup of cold water. You would then need a normal sandwich bag or a freezer bag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this starch solution into the plastic bag. I now need to make sure that it is completely closed. So you could take an elastic band and just close this up carefully. And I'm going to place it on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place about 20 drops of iodine solution into the water that is in the beaker. Now we all know that we use this indicator to prove that for the presence of starch. So I would, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert, insert this plastic bag which is filled with a starch solution into the beaker that contains dilute iodine solution. And we want to show that the iodine molecules will move from a region of a higher concentration into the plastic bag. Now how will we know that this has happened? After a while you will see that the starch solution inside the plastic bag has changed to a blue-black color. And the only way that that could have occurred is if the iodine molecules moved from a region of a higher concentration to a region of a lower concentration inside the plastic bag. So we can prove that the ID molecules have indeed moved and um, we see the positive test for starch because iodine has, if we take this out, we can actually see that it has changed to blue-black. The longer you leave it in the solution, the greater the result.